Not many people dare to travel down to the South Pole and trek through the tumultuous tundra that is Antarctica. And of the already small numbers that make the trip, even fewer live to tell the tale. So if you ever decide to take the leap, just do yourself a favor and avoid the places on this list because just about everyone that has tried wishes they hadn't. Starting us off at number 10, we have Deception Island. In 1906, a Norwegian Chilean whaling company started using Whalers Bay as a base for their factory ship. Other operations followed closely behind them, and then the next thing you know, a boom town was born. But then, by just 1931, after a sweeping decline in the market for whale oil due to the Great Depression, the island was abandoned. Since then, it has quite literally become a ghost town with visitors reporting seeing strange orbs of light coming from the abandoned huts, seeing apparitions of people walking around and even hearing disembodied voices. So while the South Pole remains a harsh land with no official permanent population, it seems that ghosts who are unaffected by what makes the South Pole so difficult to endure have settled in and haunt all those who try to enter their domain. Next up at number 9. Wordy Hut. Although it's named after James Wordy, who was the chief scientist for Sir Edmund Shackleton's endurance expedition in 1914, the Wordy Hut was built much later in 1947. For years, it had been rumored to be haunted by terrifying spirits, and after several reports, a group of paranormal researchers from Destination Truth decided to see for themselves and spend a night in the hut. When they arrived, they were immediately taken back by the energy of the cabin. They knew that something was there. That night, members of the team heard frantic flipping of light switches and slamming doors from rooms where no one was staying. Jars began falling off the shelves all on their own, and after their one night stay, they left completely creeped out. Now, I always think a telling tale of if some place is truly scary is when paranormal investigators, people whose job is literally to investigate creepy stuff, get scared and don't want to come back. Well, even so, visitors have checked it out since, but all reported similar events that chilled them to the bone and have never returned. Next up at number 8. The Ghost Ship of Jenny. Thought to have been abandoned in port in 1823, this ship was thought to be lost forever. That was until a whaling ship made a horrifying discovery a few years later back in 1840. As the legend goes, Jenny had gotten stuck in the ice while on its expedition, and no one knew where it had ended up or what had happened to the crew aboard. That was until the whaling ship discovered them and believing it to be the legendary Jenny decided to go on board to check out what might still be on it. When they made their way onto the ship, they were horrified to find all the bodies frozen solid and perfectly preserved by the ice. Allegedly, the crew found a note they believed to be written by the captain that read, May 4th, 1823, no food for 71 days. I am the only one left alive. While some believe it's just folklore, others swear by the tale claiming all the sailors of Jenny haunt the boat to this day. Coming in at number seven, Mountains of Madness. While Antarctica may be one of the most haunted places in the world, it is also home to some breathtaking scenery. But the Mountains of Madness kind of fall into the first category. Officially called the Gambertsev Mountain Range, they are roughly the size of the Alps, but there is one catch. No one has ever seen them. But how could that be, I am sure you are wondering. Well, back in the 1950s, a group of Russian explorers discovered there were strange gravity fluctuations coming from below the ice. After a bit of sleuthing, they discovered the fluctuations to be from an entire subglacial mountain range hidden below three miles of ice. First of all, the fact that there is three mile deep ice is enough of a reason for me to never want to go there, but I digress. Scientists have compared it to studying another planet, which to some might be exciting, but to others they feel it's terrifying. No one knows what kind of life could be under there, what could have been preserved there for the last 250 million years. And some have even said they've felt a strange presence when they are near. Coming in at number six, Shackleton's Hut. 
Antarctica is mainly a destination visited by scientists and explorers, but considering many of the early explorers died while on these trips, it also makes a lot of sense as to why they are all haunted. And one man who claimed to be a non-believer of ghosts would return from his trip thinking much differently. His name was Sir Edmund Hillary, and he was a New Zealand mountaineer and explorer who in 1953, along with his Sherpa, was the first known person to reach the summit of Mount Everest. So after conquering the mountain, he was looking for another adventure and sought out the South Pole five years later. When he arrived, he stayed in Sir Ernest Shackleton's abandoned hut from his famous endurance expedition. And when he was there, he claims to have seen Shackleton's ghost walk towards him and welcome him to the hut before vanishing right in front of his eyes. Ever since, it's been known as a paranormal hotspot, and many who visit leave terrified by what they see. Next up at number 5, Scott's Hut. During the early 1900s, there was a huge race to be the first country to reach the South Pole. Then in 1911, explorer Robert Falcon Scott and his team set out on a mission against Norway, later called the Terra Nova Expedition, to do just that. While many explorers, Scott included, had explored Antarctica, none had managed to reach the pole. And so the race was on. A hut was pre-constructed in Britain that was brought over as a base camp for the crew, and they set up near the Great Ice Barrier. Eventually, it was decided some of the men would stay behind with supplies and shelter, and the rest of the team would venture out further. But sadly, their mission was ultimately a bust, as by the time they reached the pole, the Norwegian flag had already been planted. So the men turned around to head back, but sadly, due to frostbite, starvation, and disease, the men died off one by one, and never made their return. Those that have visited the hut today claim to hear strange voices and footsteps all around the cabin. Apparently the minute you walk in, you feel as though you're being watched, and some even swear they've seen the ghosts of Scott and his men lurk inside. Next up at number 4, Ross Island. Home to one of the most recognized research stations across the continent, it's also the site of a devastating plane crash that left the island drowning in lost spirits. Back in 1977, New Zealand began operating sightseeing trips via plane over Antarctica. But in 1979, a true disaster would strike. Though exactly what happened is unknown, somehow the computer directing the flight got rerouted, and instead of taking its usual trip, it ended up flying dangerously close to a nearby mountain. All of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, the plane crashed, instantly killing all 257 passengers and crew members on board. Today, those that visit the island claim to hear unsettling voices in the darkness as well as strange ghostly footsteps. Some say they have even seen what they believe to be the flight victims wandering around the frigid landscape, eerily moaning and crying at night. So while there may be some beautiful places to visit, you might want to steer clear of this haunted island altogether. Coming in at number 3, a Soviet military base. Back in 2009, scientists passing through the icy scape came across a strange and concerning discovery. While exploring what's called the Pole of Inaccessibility, which is the point furthest from the sea in Antarctica, the group found a random monument with a bust of Vladimir Lenin perched on top. Now, if you don't know who that is or why that's a little bit creepy, let me explain. Vladimir Lenin was the founder of the Soviet Union and first head of government under the new regime. It was under his ruling that Russia became a one-party communist state. So upon discovering his lone bust in the middle of nowhere, the scientists decided it might be a good idea to keep exploring. After some digging, they happened upon an old Soviet military base that was covered by mountains of snow, and they realized that the bust was facing the direction of Moscow. Now, no one knows how long the bust has been there, and even creepier, no one knows why it's there. But many suspect that it might be the place where Lenin was buried back in 1924, and it's thought that his ghost may still haunt the area to this day. Coming in at number 2, Mount Erebus. Mount Erebus is the southernmost volcano on 
Earth, and it's still very much active. Some like to refer to it as the place where fire meets ice, as well inside the mountain it's swirling with molten hot magma, the outside remains frozen solid and is surrounded by ice caves. And while that might sound super cool, it is also the site of the infamous Ross Island plane crash that I already spoke about, and so it's littered with ghosts seeking revenge for having their lives taken too soon. And while many of the spirits are known to roam around the entire island, frightening visitors at every chance, some of the spirits are stuck in the place that took their lives. Some say that if you walk past the mountain, you can still hear the screams of the victims who lost their lives to the crash. And last up in our number one spot, we have the Drake Passage. The Drake Passage may just be the most well known part of all of Antarctica, but probably not for a good reason. Widely considered the most powerful convergence of seas, the Drake Passage is the point where the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean converge with the southern seas, and it is notorious for its treacherous waters. It's a great feat for anyone to even dare to cross it, and it's estimated over the years that more than a thousand people have died attempting to pass through its terrifying and turbulent waves. Many believe that all who have lost their lives to the passage remain, haunting the waters to warn those that attempt the feat to turn back. Or maybe they're trying to bring you into their realm with them. Either way, it's best to stay far, far, far away because even if the ghosts don't get you, the waves almost certainly will. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.